When presenting your business portrait of a headshot client with a CD or a DVD of their images, instead of handing them their CD in a paper sleeve, why not present their images in a jewel case using one of their photos? It's a great presentation that they will love, plus it will also have your studio name on it. It's easy to make and you could save it as a Photoshop file and then use it as a template so when you make up your next CD image cover, it only takes you a couple of minutes. Okay, well we're going to start with a square image and you'll notice also that I'm using Photoshop 7 which is several years old and I really like this version. So I just wanted to show you so you don't have to get a brand new version of Photoshop and you can even use Photoshop Elements and of course you can certainly use Photoshop the CS versions. So let's start with the image and the image is square. It's going to fit our jewel case and let's look at the size. We're going to be making this image 1900 pixels square or in US it's 4.75 inches wide by 4.75 inches high and I'm setting the resolution at 400 ppi. Okay let's start by adding an image onto our cover and then we're going to use that after we make it up we're going to save it as a Photoshop template so you can use it over and over again and all you have to do is just change a couple things like the name and the photographs. So let's add a photo and we're going to choose this one here. It's a bridal portrait. I do have these set to be more on the lower res side. So if you're going to be using a high res file, when you copy and paste it into your blank, you're going to have to reduce the size of the image. And we'll show you how we do that. So let's just copy this photograph and I'm going to use a lot of shortcuts. Control A selects all. Control C is copy. Control W will close it out. So we're all done with it. Okay, so let's go to our blank image and we're going to paste it in. And notice how it almost fits already. I'm just going to fine tune it a little bit. Control T is our transform tool and it brings up the little handles on the side. So if we just press Shift and Alt and we can take either the handle and the corners and we can just reduce it and it pretty much stays pretty much in the center. So as I was saying before, in case you paste in an image that's this big, all you have to do is just hit the transform and just reduce it to the size that you want. We're going to reduce it right about here. And okay, so now we have our image set. So let's keep this background white and then we're going to add the names. And then for the names, we're going to use, let's use a color that's part of this photograph here. So let's grab something from here. It's going to be on the maybe brown, dark brown side. Okay, we're going to go text. And we're going to actually use the text though on a new layer. So we're going to just come over here and create a new layer. This way we can just make changes to our text on that layer only. All right, so let's put in her name. We're going to make this about 48 in the text size and then we're going to type in her name. Okay, I don't like that font and of course you can use any font that you want. We're going to use something maybe a little bit fancier. So let's choose something really cool. Let's choose a font called Carpenter. That's a nice font. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger yet. So now we have it set to 60. All right. Now, as you can see, it looks nice, but it's just sort of plain looking. Let's fancy this up a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to stay on the layer with her name on it. And we're going to go to Layer, Layer Style. And we're going to click on Drop Shadow. And we're going to add a little bit of a drop shadow on here. We're going to make it a little bit larger in size so we could see. Maybe spread it out just a little bit. Then I'm going to lower the opacity just a little bit. Spread it out even a little more. And that's kind of cool there. So we're going to use that. But let's go one step further. Let's hit bevel and emboss. And that's going to give us another effect. 
And you notice how nice that effect got? This is before. If I click on bevel in the boss, it just gives it almost like a more dimensional effect to it. So let's click OK. And now you can see that under her name here, in that layer, we have our effects. And all we have to do is we're going to go to the effects, right-click, copy layer style. Now we can copy those so we don't have to do it all the time. Now on this we're going to put her name and then we're going to put by and then we're going to put our studio name down here. And when we use by we're going to use a much smaller font. So let's go with 24. Let's type in by. We're using the same color. I'm just going to bring it out maybe a little bit to the side here. Okay, now we're going to go to the layer. We have a separate layer of this. Right click. Now we're going to paste the layer style. And by pasting that, we're going to paste the same drop shadow and the same bevel and emboss that we made on her name. All right, so there we have her name. Bye. Now we're going to add your studio name on here. You can just type it in or you can drag in a logo that you have on maybe another image but I created a brush logo. So we're going to brush it on. So we're going to hit the brush tool, or you can just hit B, and then we're going to go to brushes. And I just created this brush for us. I'm going to click on that. And we do have to make sure that we're going to put this also on its own layer. So just in case we want to change it or move it, drag it around a little bit, we can do that. So let's create a new layer. And there we have it. This is going to be just for our brush tool with our with the name of your studio on there. And also, if you use the bracket key, left bracket makes it smaller. The right bracket makes it larger. So let's try this. We're also going to use the same color. It's like a brownish color. And let's take a look. There it is. Okay, so now we have this all set up. We have all the layers yet. And then all we have to do is we're going to save this as our template. All right, so I already saved this. In fact, I have so many saved already. But all you have to do is just hit Control S and save it as a template and keep it as a Photoshop document so you have all your layers. So this way, as an example here, if you do, when you do your next headshot and you want to change the name, all you do over here is just come in here and if you have somebody else, you have a Jane, just type in Jane and notice how the font stays the same and you also have all your effects on there. So, okay, so we have this saved, and let's go ahead and flatten the image. And I have an action set up that I just hit a certain key and it flattens it up, but if not, you can just come over here. So it's going to give you the option to flatten the image, and that's where you're going to click on. So now we have it flattened. Now we have one little problem. We have this saved as a 4.5, or rather 4.75 inch square image, which is not really a standard size. So let's say you want to shoot this off through an email to a local lab, maybe a Walgreens, Rite Aid, Walmart, whatever. You're going to need to put this onto a size that they print up automatically. So that's easy to do. Let's just go back to here. We're going to bring up our default colors. In this particular case, we're going to choose black as our background color. So let's go to image and we're going to keep the image the same size because we already have the exact size that we need for our jewel case. However, we're going to change the canvas size. And because they don't have a standard size, that's 4.75 square, we're going to go ahead and make up a 5 by 7. So we're going to click 5 inches wide and we're going to make it seven inches high and we can keep this in the center here it doesn't really matter because we're just changing the size of the canvas 
So there it is. Here's your 5x7 image that you can just order this online through your local lab. And then you can just pick it up within probably about an hour. And there you go. And also, many times I'm going to use my Pro Lab to make up these images if I don't need them in a hurry. Or if I'm ordering, say, several wall portraits or uh, albums or anything, I'm going to use my Pro Lab. So what I have to do here is pretty much the same thing. I have to give it a standard size. I'm going to keep these dimensions. We're going to go back into image and we're going to go canvas size. And the next size to this in the Pro Lab will be a 5x5. Five five. They do make a 5x5 five five sizes. We used to use those all the time. Click OK, and there it is. So all you do is just FTP this out to your lab, and then this is the size that you're going to get back. When you get these prints back, all you have to do is just trim right on the edge here so you have your 4 0.75 inch by 4.75 inch image and just slip it right into the slip case. So that's how easy it is to make up an image for your jewel case and it's just going to make your product have more value because it's got a neat image on there with her name, it's more personal and it also has the name of your studio or logo on here so people know who did that. So that's it and thank you for watching. For more tips on learning to take better professional looking photographs, please visit our website www.photofonds.com.